Introduction Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on enzyme inhibition. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into various aspects of enzyme inhibition, with a focus on different types and mechanisms. Enzyme inhibition plays a vital role in regulating biochemical pathways and is of utmost importance in understanding drug development and therapeutic interventions. So, let's embark on this fascinating journey into the world of enzyme inhibition. Allosteric inhibition is a type of enzyme inhibition that occurs when a molecule binds to an allosteric site on the enzyme, distinct from the active site. This binding event induces a conformational change in the enzyme structure, leading to a decrease in its catalytic activity. Allosteric inhibitors can either enhance or suppress enzyme activity, depending on the behavior of the allosteric effector. The regulatory action of allosteric inhibitors provides a sophisticated mechanism for controlling enzyme activity, allowing for fine-tuning of metabolic pathways. Examples of allosteric inhibitors include adenosine triphosphate ATP, in the regulation of phosphofructokinase and glycolysis and CTP, cytidine triphosphate, in the regulation of aspartate transcarbamylase. Feedback inhibition, also known as end product inhibition, is a regulatory mechanism wherein the final product of a metabolic pathway acts as an inhibitor for an earlier enzyme in the pathway. This mechanism ensures that excessive production of metabolites is prevented and maintains metabolic homeostasis. Through feedback inhibition, the end product binds to the allosteric site of the first enzyme in the pathway, causing a shape change that inhibits enzymatic activity. This negative feedback loop helps regulate the flux of metabolites and control overall metabolic rate. An illustrative example is the regulation of the enzyme threonine deaminase in the biosynthesis of isoleucine. Suicide inhibition, also known as mechanism-based inhibition, involves the irreversible binding of a compound to the enzyme, resulting in the loss of enzyme activity. This occurs when the inhibitor undergoes a chemical transformation within the active site, generating a reactive intermediate that covalently modifies the enzyme. The covalent modification irreversibly inactivates the enzyme, making suicide inhibitors a potent class of drugs. Classic examples include acetylsalicylic acid, aspirin, and irreversible inhibitors used in chemotherapy, targeting specific enzymes involved in cancer cell proliferation. Transition state analogs are compounds that mimic the structures of transition states occurring during enzymatic reactions. By exploiting the similarities between the transition state and transition state analog, these molecules can bind tightly to the active site of enzymes, effectively inhibiting their activity. Transition state analogs provide valuable insights into enzyme catalysis and are valuable tools for drug development. For instance, protease inhibitors used in the treatment of HIV mimic the transition state of peptide hydrolysis in the viral protease enzyme. Covalent modification involves the reversible and enzymatic alteration of an enzyme structure and activity through the addition or removal of chemical groups. These modifications can occur via phosphorylation-dephosphorylation cycles, acetylation-deacetylation, methylation-demethylation, and glycosylation-deglycosylation. Such modifications can influence enzyme activity, stability, cellular localization, and interactions with other molecules. Phosphorylation is a widely studied covalent modification, with protein kinases and phosphatases playing crucial roles in signal transduction networks. Various factors can alter enzyme kinetics, leading to changes in reaction rates and catalytic efficiencies. These factors include temperature, pH, substrate concentration, enzyme concentration, and the presence of inhibitors or activators. Temperature affects enzyme activity by modulating molecular motion, while pH influences the ionization state of amino acid residues critical for catalysis. Substrate concentration can impact enzyme kinetics by saturating the active site or exhibiting allosteric behavior. Enzyme inhibition serves as a fundamental principle in drug development, allowing for the targeted modulation of specific biochemical pathways. By selectively inhibiting enzymes involved in disease processes, therapeutic interventions can be designed to restore normal physiology. Inhibition of enzymes plays a vital role in treating various conditions such as hypertension, infections, cancer, and metabolic disorders. Rational drug design efforts often focus on identifying small molecules that selectively inhibit disease-associated enzymes, leading to effective and safer treatment options. Substrate analog inhibitors resemble the substrate of an enzyme and compete for the active site, thereby inhibiting the enzyme's activity. These analogs can be structurally similar to the substrate or can contain modifications that confer higher affinity for the active site. The high substrate similarity allows these inhibitors to fit into the active site but fail to undergo the necessary chemical reactions. Examples include acyclovir, an antiviral drug that inhibits viral DNA polymerase by acting as a faulty DNA nucleotide analog. 
Time-dependent inhibition refers to the inhibition of an enzyme's activity that intensifies with prolonged exposure to an inhibitor. This occurs when the inhibitor molecule forms a covalent or non-covalent complex with the enzyme, resulting in an extended duration of inhibition. Time-dependent inhibitors offer advantages in drug therapy, mainly if the target enzyme is present in high concentration and has a long half-life. It allows for the administration of lower drug doses while maintaining a sustained pharmacological effect. Protein-protein interaction inhibition focuses on disrupting critical interactions between proteins involved in various cellular processes. By selectively inhibiting specific protein-protein interactions, this approach can modulate protein signaling, receptor activation, and intracellular pathways. Disrupting protein-protein interactions has significant therapeutic potential and is an emerging area in drug development. Small molecules, peptides, and antibodies are being explored for their ability to interfere with protein-protein interfaces, providing new avenues for targeted therapy. Polypharmacology involves the design of drugs that simultaneously modulate multiple targets, rather than acting on a single target. This approach capitalizes on the interconnectedness and complexity of biological systems, allowing for enhanced therapeutic effects and reduced drug resistance. Certain diseases require targeting multiple components within a pathway or exploiting compensatory mechanisms. Polypharmacology enables the modulation of diverse disease-associated pathways, ultimately improving treatment options and efficacy. Advancements in computational techniques have revolutionized the field of enzyme inhibition. Computational modeling, virtual screening, and molecular dynamic simulations aid in the rapid identification of potential inhibitors and understanding their binding interactions with target enzymes. By leveraging computational approaches, researchers can explore a vast chemical space, optimize drug candidates, and predict the inhibitory potency and selectivity of compounds before experimental validation. This integration of computational and experimental methodologies expedites the process of drug discovery. In conclusion, enzyme inhibition plays a pivotal role in regulating biochemical pathways and serves as a foundation for drug development. We have explored various types of enzyme inhibition, including allosteric inhibition, feedback inhibition, suicide inhibition, transition state analogs, covalent modification, and others. Understanding the mechanisms behind enzyme inhibition empowers researchers and clinicians to develop targeted therapies that restore homeostasis and combat diseases more effectively. As medical professionals, a comprehensive understanding of enzyme inhibition is crucial for providing optimal patient care and advancing medical knowledge. Thank you for joining me on this extensive exploration of enzyme inhibition, and I hope this script has deepened your understanding of this vital biochemical process.